Imagine a battlefield where tanks rule the land, massive armored machines that seem invincible. But what if I told you that even these steel giants have weaknesses? Urban warfare, guerrilla tactics, and modern threats have made traditional tanks vulnerable in ways you might not expect. In today's video, we're diving into the incredible story of how Russia responded to these challenges with a remarkable invention, the BMPT Terminator. This vehicle isn't just a tank or an infantry carrier, it's a game-changer designed to save lives and win battles. By the end of this video, you'll discover why this machine might be the most crucial development in armored warfare. Stay tuned, because what we're about to show you could change the way you think about military power forever. The BMPT Terminator's story begins with hard-earned lessons from urban combat, particularly in the First and Second Chechen Wars. During these brutal conflicts, Russian forces discovered that traditional tanks, while powerful, struggled in close quarter, unpredictable urban environments. Tanks, designed to fight in open fields, found themselves vulnerable to guerrilla fighters armed with anti-tank weapons. These fighters hid in buildings and alleys, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And when they did, the results were devastating. Russian commanders knew they needed something more, a vehicle that could work alongside tanks, offering additional firepower and protection in urban environments. The answer wasn't simply to build a better tank, but rather a specialized support vehicle. Thus, the BMPT Terminator was born. But this vehicle is unlike anything else in the armored world. To understand what makes the Terminator special, we need to take a closer look at its design. The Terminator is based on the tried-and-true chassis of the Tb-72 main battle tank, a platform that has been a workhorse for the Russian army for decades. However, the similarities between the two vehicles end there. The BMPT lacks the heavy caliber main gun found on a tank, and it doesn't carry infantry soldiers like an IFV, infantry fighting vehicle. Instead, the BMPT is packed with an array of weapons designed to engage a wide range of targets. At the heart of the BMPT's firepower are its two 30mm 2A42 autocannons. These cannons are designed to tackle both light and heavily armored vehicles. They're fast, deadly, and precise, making them perfect for hitting moving targets. But that's not all. The BMPT also boasts four 130mm Attica T anti-tank guided missile ATGM launchers. These missiles can engage enemy tanks from a distance, ensuring that the BMPT can provide cover fire and take out high-priority targets before they pose a threat to Allied forces. The BMPT's versatility doesn't stop there. It's also equipped with two 30mm AG-17D automatic grenade launchers, which can lay down heavy suppression fire to keep enemy infantry at bay. These grenade launchers are particularly effective in urban environments, where enemies might be hiding behind walls or inside buildings. The BMPT's arsenal is rounded out with a 7.62mm PKTM machine gun, which provides close-range defense against infantry and light vehicles. But a vehicle is only as good as its ability to survive on the battlefield. The BMPT is designed with the protection of its crew in mind. Its armor is a mix of composite, steel and reactive armor, making it highly resistant to anti-tank weapons. In urban combat, where threats come from all directions, this level of protection is essential. The BMPT's design ensures that its crew can operate effectively even in the most dangerous environments. To move this heavily armed and armored vehicle, the BMPT relies on a powerful V-92S2 diesel engine, producing 1,000 horsepower. This engine gives the BMPT a top speed of 37 miles per hour on roads and an operational range of up to 340 miles. While its speed isn't as fast as some lighter vehicles, the BMPT is built to withstand and engage in high-intensity battles, not just to outrun enemies. Its torsion bar suspension ensures that it can traverse rough terrain, making it effective both on and off-road. One of the key strengths of the BMPT is its ability to engage multiple threats at once. On the modern battlefield, threats come from many directions, whether it's infantry with anti-tank weapons, drones in the sky, or enemy tanks lying in ambush. The BMPT's diverse arsenal of weapons allows it to address all of these threats, making it a critical asset in any armored unit. Let's take a moment to compare the BMPT to more traditional tanks. A tank, like the T-72 or T-90, is a powerful vehicle designed primarily for long-range engagements with other armored targets. Its main gun is formidable, but tanks are vulnerable when it comes to close-range threats, especially in urban settings. Tanks often rely on supporting infantry to protect them from ambushes, but this strategy isn't always foolproof. In contrast, 
the BMPT was designed specifically to fill the gaps that tanks cannot cover. Its ability to target infantry, armored vehicles, and even low-flying aircraft makes it incredibly versatile in combat. The development of the BMPT began back in the 1980s, during the Soviet-Afghan War. During this conflict, Soviet BMP vehicles, which were intended to be both armored transport and support vehicles, struggled in the face of guerrilla tactics. The Soviets needed something more resilient and flexible, and the idea for the BMPT began to take shape. However, it wasn't until the First Chechen War in the 1990s that the need for a vehicle like the BMPT became truly urgent. Urban combat in Grozny showed the weaknesses of the Russian army's traditional armored vehicles, which often fell victim to ambushes and hit-and-run attacks. The BMPT Terminator went through several stages of development before it reached its current form. Early prototypes were tested, but it wasn't until 2000 that the Object 199 model, the precursor to the BMPT, was unveiled. Serial production began in 2002, but surprisingly, the Russian army didn't adopt the vehicle right away. Concerns about the BMPT's Cold War era T-72 chassis contributed to this hesitation. Russian military planners were looking to modernize their fleet and move beyond the designs of the past. Despite this initial reluctance, the BMPT has found success on the international market. Kazakhstan was the first country to adopt the BMPT, and other nations, including Algeria, Azerbaijan and Peru, have shown interest in the vehicle. Its combination of firepower, protection, and mobility makes it an attractive option for countries looking to bolster their armored forces. The BMPT's design continues to evolve. Ural Vagonzavod, the manufacturer, has introduced the Terminator 2, an upgrade package that retrofits existing T-72 tanks with the same advanced support capabilities. This is significant because the T-72 is one of the most widely used tanks in the world, with operators in over 40 countries. By upgrading these tanks with Terminator 2 technology, nations can extend the life of their existing fleets while enhancing their capabilities in modern warfare. Looking to the future, the BMPT's role is likely to grow as warfare continues to evolve. Urban combat and asymmetrical warfare are becoming more common, and traditional tanks may not always be up to the task. The BMPT, with its specialized design, is perfectly suited for these kinds of environments. Whether it's supporting tanks in a high-intensity conflict or protecting convoys in an urban setting, the BMPT is a flexible and powerful tool that modern militaries are likely to rely on. The BMPT Terminator is more than just a support vehicle. It represents a shift in how armored warfare is conducted in the modern era. By addressing the vulnerabilities of traditional tanks and providing a solution for urban and guerrilla warfare, the BMPT has proven its worth on the battlefield. Whether fighting alongside tanks or standing alone, it is a force to be reckoned with. If you found this story about the BMPT Terminator fascinating, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think about this unique and powerful vehicle. Your support helps us bring you more stories about the latest in military technology and warfare strategy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.